I'm about to introduce Hugh Jackman. He is one of our most adored stars. He's been on Broadway now, starring in The Music Man. He's going to leave it at the end of the year. I know Hugh Jackman a thousand years from when he first started and came in from Australia. And we all love Hugh Jackman. Hey, Hugh. Cindy, how Is are it you? really you? You? And- it, is it really you, Cindy? That's what I want to know. Yes, it's me. Listen, listen. I'm still around. I'm still around. I'm still around. <laughs> so what? tell me, what is the regimen for eight shows a week? I mean, how do you do it? What time do you get up or how do you rehearse? How Got do you survive every day? I get up about eight. I sleep a lot. I, I'm a meditator. I've meditated twice a day for 25 years. Without that, I'd be probably dead right now. Um, and I train a couple of times a week. I, I take it kind of easy during the day and, you know, feel 53 during the day so I can try and pretend to be 35 when I'm on stage. Listen, honey, I'm 200 years old now, so I understand that. (laughs) But I'm not sure I know how does one handle the exhaustion at the end of a week? Um, Martinis. (laughs) <laughs> it hides every, it just hides everything. It makes everything fine. <laughs> I try not to make them too many plurals. Just one plural is fine. <laughs> but do, do but no, I, I sleep. I, I'm, I'm like, um, I really, well, because of COVID, I'm rarely going out, but I don't go out a lot. And uh, what did I do this Sunday? I finished the show, went out to dinner with my kids, and then we watched Big with Tom Hanks. Oh, That was Jesus. my Sunday night. So it's really, it's very racy. <laughs> my life. Hugh, Hugh, you, Hugh, I was there opening night. I know how good it is. I know how great it is. I understand everything. But have you ever in your whole life effed up or goofed up on stage? Oh, so many times. Like how? Incl- how do you how do you survive it? Um yeah. Well, I once peed my pants on stage wearing <laughs> red tights. That's about as far that's about as goofed up as you can get. And um, how did I do it? I just had to laugh it off. Like, what do you do in the end of the day? <laughs> like, we're all human. I think I partly love that little bit of it. I love when someone makes a mistake when I go. I don't love doing mistakes. But I guess in, in the end, you just have to sign up for not being perfect. Yes, but, uh, but, but uh, then losing your drawers or something. I mean, did you ever forget a lyric? Or, cause I yes, try- I've, done I- it. I've done it a couple of times in this show, and it's terrifying because it's so fast and once you get off the train it's like miraculous to get back on and uh it it frightens me Uh, it's happened twice on this where i've just lost one or two lines and then for the next three shows i'm in the wings sweating you know thinking i'll go have i got all these so yeah that happens all the time but do they cover for you does another actor cover for you or how does the line come back to you I don't worry so much during the scenes um, because I'll figure I'll just ad lib around, or the other actor can help you. It worries me during, it worries me during a number. Oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. You know when you're doing those very fast patter songs like in this, you know I got trouble right here, and I do trouble with a couple of runs, and when you get off track there, then you're in deep. Yeah, do do. But I noticed that you got thinner. You had lost weight. Why yeah. did you do it with deliberation or what? No, just no choice. I mean, just the, the amount of dancing and moving around. And, and actually, I am, that's probably, I'm, I'm skinny. So I've had to put on weight for every part I've done. You know, like Wolverine, I've always had to put on weight and all that sort of thing. So it, my body naturally wants to go there. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really Tommy Toon, basically. Well, Warren Car- Carlyle did an awful lot of dancing in this particular show, yes. much more yes. than the original. So that right. was an awful lot of strain on you, it would seem to me. He's great. Yeah, He's wonderful. Yeah. But, but, but it yeah. was a lot of that. What about the problems of COVID? Did that hit the show or you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we got it pretty much at the same time everybody else did. We went down. We were down. I, Sutton came down with it, I, and then, you know, we're kissing on stage every night, so I knew I was going to come down with it. Um, and then my wife, who kisses me every night, came down with it. So, yeah, uh, we, over the Christmas, we were shut down for 10 days, and we've had, um, you know, since then we've had to be very careful, and we've had a little bit of an uptick recently, but nothing that has taken us down. So... 
um, you know, it's been a very, in that way, it's stressful. Uh, I must admit, I do a test every morning and I look at that thing waiting for the one line and, you know, breathe a sigh of relief every morning that it's negative. What about Monday nights or Sunday nights mm-hmm. or after theater? Do you have any little nice social life anymore? With this? I do, actually. Yeah. Um, I, I love the Sunday nights, especially because I don't have to worry about anything the next day. Monday nights, <laughs> yeah. again, I'm, you know, starting to think. It's like, you know, Sunday night. You've got to get up and go to work the next day. But I, I go out. My wife is incredibly extroverted and social, so she finds so the idea of me not doing anything on my nights off is like just not really a possibility. She's like, oh, no, I don't get you for six nights a week. Like, we're going out. <laughs> I think you're absolutely great. Have you ever hurt yourself? On You move a lot. You're very, very visible the way you move and dance. Yep. Did you ever yeah. twist anything or anything? It's very fast yeah. moving. Yeah, about a week ago, I, I I actually don't know how it happened, but I found myself facing the floorboards. I tripped over and I was facing the floorboards. And when I got up, I was fine, actually. Um, I'd done my ankle a little bit, but not too bad. But when I got up, the entire cast cheered me like I'd finished the marathon. <laughs> I think they were... They were very nervous. It probably looked more dramatic than it was. Oh, and those books, throwing those books. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I dropped it the other night and it went right on the conductor's head. And he it was <laughs> it was quite funny because he had his hands up in a very kind of Marx Brother comical way and thank God it didn't crack his head open. But yeah, no, I blew that one. Of He'll- course the audience loved it. A thousand years ago, um, I mean, you're too young, but a thousand years ago, did you ever see the original version no. of, the, of this musical? No, just a film. Just a film. I've never, no, no, I didn't see it. Did you, did, I wish did, I had. Did you see the film now just before you yeah, went in? Yeah, I saw the film. Not just before. I saw it probably three years ago and then deliberately didn't go back because I just, you know, figured it would be in my head and I tried to, you know, obviously I'm trying to create my own version of the character and so I just didn't want to have that in my head too much. Okay, so what are you going to do now? I have to know. It's not my business, but what else am I going to ask? What <laughs> What are you going to do? Like today? No, in general. <laughs> no, in general. No, I've, I'm, you know, we're not even halfway through the year, so I'm definitely here all year. I'm loving it so much. I might just go full Yul Brenner and just do it for the next 21 years. I don't think you can do that. But tell no. me, tell me, <laughs> tell me how long, how much longer are you going to be in this show? Just to the new year. And, and then, then, uh, and then, then what? I'm looking at a couple of film stuff. So I'll probably go and do some film after that. Well, tell me what it's like when the audience member takes a photo or you can hear a cell phone going off. Do you not get mm. that? Yeah, we get it a couple of times. You, you hear the cell phones. Um, it's a, you know, if, if I if I had never left my cell phone on in my life, I might be a little more incensed. But I'll be honest. Okay, I, I think once or twice I have, and it's embarrassing. So I just sort of let it go. I sometimes feel a bit. I must admit, I can see camera. And when you look out there, they they're reflected. So you can see when people are videoing the whole show. And I'm occasionally I look right at the camera, kind of like really guy like. Do you have to like that's that annoys me a little bit, but in general, I try not to let that stuff phase me. You may not remember because I was certainly not that important in your life, but I remember the first interview you and I ever did. Mm-hmm. It was in front of a candy counter in a movie house where your first movie was opening. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what it was like to be? Suddenly, a star from Australia. Yeah, I do. I remember it very clearly because I was uh, the X Men movie came out, yep, and on the yep. Monday, and I was shooting a movie at the time. So I and it was with Meg Ryan the movie. So I was on a movie where cameras followed her everywhere and completely ignored me. And I came out on the Monday after <laughs> X Men opened in full costume. And my trailer was right next to Meg's and I came out and there was the usual 15 photographers, you know. And so I just, you know, reflexively looked over my shoulder thinking Meg must have walked out of her 
trailer and there was no Meg and I was a bit bemused by all this and they were all, then I realised they were all yelling out, you, you, Wolverine, Wolverine. I was like, oh, okay. So that, all right, this is that moment. But you became, you became a star instantly, instantly. And I know that they're going to pull you away. I can only say, I know your guest bathroom is black. If you sit in the john, does it change color? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not that powerful. But you're the best, Cindy. You always make me laugh. You're I love you. I love you. I, I love, love you too, I Cindy. love you, sweetheart. Thanks, honey. Bye. Good on you. Bye. Bye. 